Hey, good morning. It's uh, Thursday, August 5th. Thanks so much for being here. Got a chance to be outside this morning in the, uh, just on a uh, boating dock here on the St. John's River. It's really, you can see the clouds behind me. They're moving. We've got more rain coming in today, so I don't want to get the video in now. But I want to talk a little bit about Psalm 91. And Psalm 91 talks about the care that God has for you and me. He is, he is the one who is constantly caring for us. And it says that he's watching over us and cares for us the way, like an eagle. We are safely in the hand of God. Psalm goes on to talk about how God cares for his people. He protects them from the lions and the serpents. Maybe even to the point of seeing the, seeing the lion as the roaring lion of the enemy. And the great serpent is, of course, a reference to Satan himself. And what that means is there's nothing that's happening in our lives that is not a result of the care and providence and plan of God. Everything that we do, everything that happens to us is an opportunity to bring honor and glory to God. So rather than seeing our life as a series of dysfunctional, disjointed events, which just seem like it's just a whole bunch of literal crap happening to us, we can see that in all this, our God is there, He is faithful, and even in these things that appear to be so overwhelming and are so overwhelming to us, He is a part of that, working in it to help us to see that life revolves around Him. As I'm talking, you'll see these clouds moving in the background. That's not happenstance. That's the finger of God, the breath of God, moving these clouds the way He wants them to go. And just as He moves these clouds around like this, all the events of my life and your life are particularly planned by Him so we have the opportunity to rejoice in relationship with Him. I know someone's going to say, well, Jay, how do I rejoice in relationship with God when such terrible things are happening? When I have cancer, or I have pain, or I have a child who's not where they ought to be. If I take that little tiny snapshot of life, and that's all I look at, then I will be in despair. But if I see that there is something, that there is a video, a movie, a, if a better term, a poem of your life and my life that God is writing right now, and there's some ups and downs to that story. And sometimes those ups and downs seem to be, the downs seem to be way out, weighing the, 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 the ups, the good part. But God is there caring for us. And Psalm 91 reminds us of that. That regardless of the turmoil that we face, God is there and He is caring. And He's watching over us. Which is much different than a fatalist view or just saying, I'll just have to put up with this. But even in these hard things, God is there with us in the middle of it. Don't give up on your child. Whether he's three months three years or 13 years or 33 years. Don't change your view of God. Don't allow your frustrations to overwhelm you. But be content with what God has placed in your life right now and bring honor to Him. Speak well of God and treat people with a kindness that they don't deserve because God treats you and me with a kindness that we don't deserve. These are familiar truths to us, but they've got to be our bedrock. They have got to be the thing that gives us our mission statement every day. It gives us hope. Not that my circumstances will change, but that I have hope that God will never change. And that He hears me. That He is in control. That He will bring honor to His name. And I can endure the suffering, I can cry, I can know the hardships that are there, but I know my God has not abandoned me. 
not because of the circumstances, but because places like Psalm 91 tell me that he's not abandoned me. He's with me. And that's the thought for the day. It's all I wanted to talk about this morning. It's, it's so important. I need to be reminded of that. I have things in my life right now where those things are very much true of me. I need to see God's purpose and care. Where he's reaching out and caring for me in ways that right now seem hard for me. But they're true because I know God's word is true. So that's the thought for this Thursday. Um, it might not be until tomorrow that I get to get back, back with you, but thanks so much for being here. And uh, you know, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go over to uh, go over to um, the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. You get the videos automatically. Check us out at everydaytalk247.com. And uh, again, just a pleasure to be with you. Always love hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.